Hey what's up guys this is Sohan and you are watching your technical spark channel friends in this video i am going to explain forcepoint dlp agent user interface okay because this is what you know going to help you in the upcoming videos when we start configuring the policies so without further ado let's get started hey welcome back guys now as you could see uh, on your taskbar uh, there is a icon you know green color that is force point agent and when you initially move over your mouse to that particular icon it will show you that particular agent name and the status so it's also to be always enabled and there is a small circular tick mark so it has to be there and for any reason you know there is something wrong with your agent it will show the cross mark so keep that things in mind when you right click okay so with the first option you can open your force point dlp endpoint console okay and here it explains the connections the current logged in user and the connection status should be connected which means right now my this particular agent is able to co communicate with my this fsm server or dlp server endpoint server it's completely you know, depends on how exactly you have configured for your environment whether it's a single tier multi tier architecture so based on that it will show that appropriate ip address or host name now coming down endpoint settings so whenever you deploy or make any changes into the endpoint profile the you know it will show you the latest timing so based on that you will come to know whether your agent is up to date or not profile name so profile also i have shown you earlier so this is the profile which get updated here if you want you can create multiple profiles based on your requirement and status should be enabled discovery okay so discovery is something you know we are going to create one dedicated video okay and in that we'll show, i'll show you that how exactly the discovery feature works now coming to the update okay so in update section basically whenever you are suspecting there is some changes are made on the our managed application server and you want your agent to receive those changes immediately then you can always use the you know update button okay so so that agent will get updated immediately log viewer so in this particular screen it will you know give the high level information about what exactly your agent is doing so we have recently installed our postman security manager then it has received the profile okay so it it will show all the information and similar way you can go to the content logs so the how exactly the configured policies are behaving in your environment those details will be seen here based on the violations content file so as you all know that whatever the files are you know violating the policies those will be content here in this particular location close and the last one is disable for any reason you, you know you are suspecting there is some issue on the user machine and you wanted to bypass your dlp for a certain period of time then you can do it using this bypass option so how you can do that just you know your user needs to share this information with your force point administrator so in our case that is 18 hqh so let's go to the force point security manager and let me show you how exactly you can do that under force point security manager currently i am at the uh, endpoint status and this is my machine so we'll just simply have to take that machine and then click on bypass endpoint enter the code here which is 18 hqh and for how long you would like to bypass this okay so let's say five minutes and click on generate code the code has been generated let's copy that go back to our test machine and in this machine we'll have to enter that code which we have copied and okay see now the status is showing enabled which means the code which you have entered is work and currently this particular agent is in bypass mode to reactivate what you will have to do simply click on enable and it will turn into the disable mode see so this is basically your high level agent console overview now when we right click again we can see few more option open log viewer so it will again land to the same page then if you go to the set encryption password so the data which you are going to copy to the remover storage you can encrypt those using the this password and it requires a decryption tool to unlock the data so all through it will be you know copied to the same remover storage 
However, if you ever face any issue, then you can also download that particular decryption tool from the support.forcepoint website. Now, there is a last very uh, important option. If you ever face any issue with the Forcepoint agent, then what you can do, you can open Forcepoint endpoint downshift tool from the taskbar itself. Okay. And in this particular tool, you can run the diagnostics. Okay as well as collect the client endpoint information just by clicking on this option see its progress and done so it has captured our system information and the size is 3.28 mb and for diagnosis you can always use this particular option now let me close this and delete this information as well because we don't need this right now and now friends i believe that all the options which is available into the force point dlp agent console are cleared to all you guys if in case if you still have any question queries then please feel free to let me know and guys if you want to check which version is installed then you can simply click on this i button and it will show you the version that is 24.04 build 5677 and the policy engine version is 10.2.0298 so that's how you know uh, so that is the information which is available on the Forcepoint DLP endpoint agent user interface if in case of, if you still have any question query doubt then feel free to let me know in the comment box below and by any chance if you found this video useful then please click on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe click on the bell icon so that as and when I'll upload new video you will be getting notification so that's it in this video this is Sohan signing out. I'll catch you in the new amazing video. Till then, bye-bye.